What's going on guys? Welcome to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. DS. Today I woke up and I had the sudden urge to play this game, so I decided to actually LP it for you guys. I've been wanting to honestly play through the New Super Mario Bros. series here on my channel. I don't really have any good LPs of any of those games, uh, so I thought I'd redo all of them considering that I did New Super Mario Bros. 2 last year, so it only makes sense to play through all of these games again. So we're starting off with New Super Mario Bros. DS, and then once we're done with this, we're moving on to New Super Mario Bros. Wii, then we're moving on to New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, and then Super Mario 3D World and all that good shenanigans and whatnot. We're not going to be replaying through Super Mario Bros. 2 if you guys are wondering, just because I already played through that last year. Uh, but this game, and then like I said, the other two games, we're definitely going to be playing through them. So I hope you guys enjoy this little mini series of the new Super Mario Bros. series. I know you've probably seen it like a billion, jillion times, but you know what? These games have amazingly high replay value, so... I don't really care what anybody says. Also, there's a twist. I'm playing it with Luigi. Guys, leave a like for my boy Luigi. Uh, he's going to be the one in charge, not Mario. Even though Mario's name is on the title of this and everything, it's still going to be played through with Luigi. It's time to give him the spotlight. Speaking of Luigi, I'm most likely also going to play through New Super Luigi U just because it's been a long time since I've played that game, and I don't think when I played it, I did a 100% walkthrough on it. So... It'll be fun to revisit that game and whatnot. But just so you guys are all aware, this is definitely going to be a 100% playthrough. I'm going to play through every single one of the levels. We're going to do a world and episode, and we're going to collect all the star coins or star medals, whatever you want to call them. I mean, people usually uh, differentiate the two. I can't. I don't know actually what the difference is between the two, but we're just going to go ahead and call them star coins because star coins make the most sense. But wow, Luigi guys in this game. I, I actually don't think he has anything different different than Mario does. I mean, he's just reskinned, except, I don't know, I mean, I guess he's just a taller reskinned version of Mario. Also, you don't want to destroy that pipe, that's literally where the second star coin's at. I mean, you could destroy it, but then you'd have to replay the level. We're gonna be playing through some of these levels more than once, just because that's how you have to do it in order to get everything, to ensure that you collected everything, which is fine, because... Uh, these worlds are like super easy, but man, it has been a long time since I've played this game. It brings back. Oh no! All right, we gotta go back. Can I go back? I can't go through this pipe. It's weird, man. They create pipes in uh, the Mario Mushroom Kingdom world, and it's like you can exit them, but you can't re-enter the ones you exited from. It doesn't make sense, dude. It's weird. It's like a door that's opened, but it's one-sided. You know, once it's opened, you can't close it. Don't do the same mistake. There we go. Awesome. All right, so back to my story. I haven't played this game since, honestly, I moved to Nebraska, and then that was when I did the LP on the game. And I wasn't really happy with that LP, just because I had a really bad mic, and my room was very echoey. I mean, you guys could go back and watch it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It wasn't, it wasn't good by any means, so... It's definitely good that I'm actually playing through this again. So, look at that. We beat World 1-1. Very easy. We didn't even have to replay it twice. I'm going to also save these toad houses. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to need them in the future or not. But it's always good to save them. Because you never really know what's going to happen. So, I'm going to I'm gonna be efficient this time around. Look at that. I got a fire flower. And this is actually the very first new Super Mario Bros. game where they introduced the whole saving an item thing, which is awesome. It's, like, weird, because every time I replay, like, an older Mario Bros. game, like, for example, Super Mario Bros. 3, um, or any other Super Mario Bros. game, I always tell myself, man, why can't you save an item? Like, why didn't they make that a thing in the other Mario games? But I guess it is what it is, you know? You can't really complain about that. They're just old school. Um, even though, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 had this thing where you can save so many items, it's definitely not in this game. They have toad houses. That's, I mean, that's all they get. I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, that game also had toad houses. I almost forgot. I'm like, wait a second. That game had toad houses? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it did have toad houses. That's right. I'm pretty sure the third star coin is somewhere up here. Actually, wait. No, it's not. That's right. Silly me. The third star coin is going to be up there. That's how it's done. So I got to adjust this seesaw thing. Get up here, man. Oh, and that's going to take me to the secret exit. I forgot. Yo, that's cool. This is our very first secret exit, dude. It's like, within, like, minutes of playing this game, they're already tossing secret exits at you. It's like, look at this, guys. If you get find this on your first try, you're stupid. And there you go. The beauty about this, dude, is there's no such thing as golden flagpoles like Super Mario 3D Land. 
And then I think new, or Super Mario World, not Super Mario World, but Super Mario 3D World. That's what it is. Because those games have secret exits. And oh man, dude. I Or not secret exits, but golden flagpoles. And I hated those. I mean, they're fun to do if you know how to do them. But if you don't know how to do them, yeah, they could be pretty tedious. So I don't have to worry about doing that. Because it's not like, even if I did get a golden flagpole, at the end of the game, nothing crazy is going to happen. But I mean, once you do this the second time, it's actually very easy. Look at that. Oh man. Uh, he ruined my groove. I literally wanted to slide, but he made me he made me fail. He's like, nope, we're not today, dude. You're not going to show off today, even though it's not really that impressive. But hey, at least I got an extra mushroom or an extra fire flower. That's all that counts. I can I can bop these piranha plants day and night. Don't need to worry about ever running loot or low on items. OK, come on. There we go. There, oh, got to watch out. Oh. Okay, we're good. It was just uh, it was a it was a nice self precaution thing. I don't know. I had to I had to make sure that I wasn't gonna hit that guy. That's why I slowed down. Otherwise, I would have just ran into him, and uh, I would have just blazed him with my fire, my flaming fire. But yeah, that's the second level right there. I'm most likely going to cut out like um, redoing some of the levels if needed. But if not, then I'm just gonna. Play them all as it is once. I think you actually need to go inside of this mushroom house. If I remember correctly. Because I think Toad... Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. What's up, dude? What do you got for me? Okay, so I want him... Oh, no, dude. Come on. Anything but a mini mushroom. Okay, so I don't know how this works then. Because in the tower, I'm pretty sure you need... Uh, what's it called? You need one of those turtle shells. In order to get the secret exit for this. Which is like... It leads to the cannon... Which leads to World 5, so I mean, if you're really lazy, you could just go to World 5 and get this entire game over with, but... Wow, really? You guys aren't even gonna help a boy out here? You're not gonna help Luigi out by giving him one of them. Alright, that's cool. I don't need it anyways. Wait, I wonder if I could destroy this. I... I whoa! Luigi can actually twirly on this! That's so sick! Look at that, dude! I'm a giant! Woohoo! Does this bounce? It does bounce. Yay, okay. So that's the first star coin. I didn't actually realize that you could do that with Luigi. I was so scared that it was going to break it. Because pretty much everything in this game is breakable. Oh, I should have done that. Wow, I missed out on that. Oh, dude, Luigi, come on. Why did you do that? You need to chill, dude. I did not give you permission to twirl down there. Like, come on, dude. We're a team here. They got to run these decisions through me first, dude. That's how it works. You can't just come up with things on the spot. Show off. All right, so we're good. Ooh, we got it. The third star coin. Awesome. I mean, the, honestly, dude, guys, this game is seriously very easy. It's not hard by any means. It's not like New Super Mario Bros. 2. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is not hard by any means. It's just very long for a New Super Mario Bros. game. Because you get, like, nine worlds, I think. And then you get the, th I think, three special worlds. No, it's eight worlds and then the three special worlds. So it's a total of 11. Which actually is not that bad. It's a lot for a new Super Mario Bros. game, but still, it's not that bad. You know, considering that Mario games are usually relatively very short. So, hmm. I actually don't know what to do here. Because it's I think it's either the third star coin or it's either the secret exit. I actually don't know. It's one of those two things that I, I'm not going to be able to get. Watch out, watch out, watch out. There we go. Watch out. I think, actually, unless I have, like, uh, if I have a Koopa shell, which I don't think they're going to give me, I am pretty much screwed. Because that toad jacked me and gave me one of these. Freaking toad dodged me again. Oh man. All right, what did I get? I got a flower. I mean, what else would it be besides a nice mushroom flower? A.K.A. fire flower. I always called them mushroom flowers. I don't know why. They have nothing to do with mushrooms, but I always liked calling them that. Okay. Woohoo! Look at that. How awesome is that? You make your way here, but then you think you're screwed. When in actuality, you're not. You still have another chance to go back down if you missed it. But it's pretty dangerous. Also, screw that pipe. I'm just gonna wall jump. There we go. So yeah, this room, guys, is the room with the star coin. Oh. Woohoo! And then this room also has the secret exit. Oh, brother. Brother. Dude, what are they doing? 
It has a secret exit, so I can't actually get it because you need a mushroom, or you need the, um, like I said, the turtle shell, which I don't have, so, well, I guess I'm not going to be showing that off. <laughs> I wanted to, honestly. It was in my intention. You guys know that, but as you guys witnessed, I, I don't have- Oh, of course! Wow! I didn't actually think that would happen. I really didn't. I actually thought for a second there. Luigi was gonna make it, but he sure did prove me wrong. So now I gotta fight, who is it? Bowser Jr. is a baby or something? Who's it gonna be? I'm pretty sure it's Bowser Jr. Actually, wait, no, it can't be Bowser Jr. Dude, it's been a minute, man. I don't actually know who we're battling. Uh-oh, okay. We got this, guys. We got this. Redemption time, it's all good. I got this one. Ooh, 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 da -ba -da. there we go. Nice and easy lemon squeezy. I wish I had an item. Can I get a mushroom? I'm asking nicely. There has to be a decapitated toad somewhere here. Okay, hold on. I got this, guys. Okay, okay come on, come on, come on, go! Yay! We did it. For a second there, I, I almost swore I heard the Super Mario, the Super Mario Maker cheer. I was gonna say, what? Oh, oh, oh! Come on. Please fall. Mushroom? Mushroom, are you coming? I think it's... I lost it. Wow, I lost it! That is bogus! Okay, that's fine. I guess we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. What's up, BJ? What's up, dog? Wait, that was it? Dude, there's no way. What's up, dog? Alright, come on. One more time. Woohoo, sucker! I did it. I'm a baby and I killed you, dude. That is actually how Mario and Luigi are. Think about it. They have to eat a super mushroom in order to get to the size they are. The size that we normally see them at. But the fact that they are like this all the time goes to show that they're not human. They are far from being human. These guys are some... I don't know what it is. Some weird demonic thingies. But yeah, we're moving on to this. We need, I think... No, that's for the mushroom house. You need five star coins. But we don't need to do that. We're going to save our money. All right, what is this level? I actually kind of don't remember. Oh, oh, come on, Koopa. Are you serious? You're gonna do this to me? You're gonna really do this to me right now? Yes, come to Papa. That Those are the best kind of uh, item blocks. Because they're the ones with presents. It's like a Happy Meal. Where is it? Oh my gosh, dude, where's my Happy Meal? Oh, there it is, what's up? Ah, oh, it's one of these Giga Mushrooms. Woo All right, I'm gonna mess up some people today. Look at this, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a bad decision to mess with. Oh, man, I kind of screwed myself. I did, but guess what? I'm going to push this all the way in. I don't know if that is actually a good thing or a bad thing, but either way, it'll be interesting to see the outcome of what I just did. Whether I will pay a big price or whether it'll work in my favor. But guess what? I think this is, yeah, this is where the first star coin is. I think, is that, yep, that's it. Look at that, the screen shuffled around. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do the rest of this game with dual screen or should I do it with just single screen? I think the bottom screen is pretty entertaining. Like, look at that, you got all kinds of information. Oh, oh, dude, Koopa, you can't do this, man. I'm actually legitimately scared right now. Like, I'm so tiny that this would be kind of, oh, man. That is not good, dude. That is definitely not good. I need to get in that pipe somehow. But I screwed myself. All right, let me see. Can I get a mushroom, maybe? Is this going to give me a mushroom? It's going to give me a mushroom. Oh, man. But you know what? It's actually fine because I needed to do that anyways. Oh, come on, Goomba. What's wrong with you, dog? What's wrong with you? This is actually not as good as I thought it was going to be. I, I, I'm for some reason struggling a little bit. All right, I'm going to do this, get that, run back, look at that, make use, there we go, all right, woohoo, woohoo, see, this is, it's working out nicely, I know what's going on here, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, all right, hold on, I'm going to take you and I'm going to just send you off in a cliff, I think it's better off that you just leave this town once and for all, 
Hey, it's one of these. You don't want to grab the coins. I know that's probably your first instinct right now to grab the coins that you see, but believe me, that is the last thing you want to do there. Because if you do, you lose your platform. And there's no such thing as a Tanuki Leaf in this game, which is weird. Because, I mean, it was in Super Mario Bros. 3, they had something in Super Mario World, but in this game, they were just like, We ain't giving you no flying suit. That's kind of cheap. You don't need one of those. So, I mean, we're just kind of stuck with fire flowers. And uh, I think ice flowers and mini mushrooms. So, you do have a variety of different kind of shrooms that you can eat and flowers. We're, we're vegetarian. I think Mario and Luigi are vegan. They don't really, they're not about that kind of uh, stuff. You know, they don't eat meat or anything like that. I guess the closest thing to meat they'd eat is, is toad. But even then, toad is mushroom, you know? I don't know. It's, imagine if you ripped open a toad. I know that sounds very weird to say, but if you ripped open a toad, do you think it'll be all mushroom inside? I mean, it could very well be. Oh, man. I need this. Give me this toad head. This dude was probably someone's neighbor, someone's daughter, someone's sister, mom. I don't even know, dude. But here we are eating him for our own pleasure. This is, this is, this is probably... I don't even know, man. I have nothing against vegans. I don't want anybody to think I have something against vegans. Uh, I'll tell you guys a funny story. So one time I was in an argument with one of my former roommates. And he's actually vegan. And his argument was very illogical. And it, it got a little bit heated. And uh, he was arguing about something. And I was, you know, just defending whatever it was. And he just twisted the conversation to saying, you want to hear something illogical? I was like, sure, man. He was like, what's illogical is eating meat. What the heck? Bruh! This is bogus, dude. Did you see that? That is so messed up. How am I supposed to know that? I gotta just, you know, let Luigi go down the pipe. I'm sorry, dude. You just gotta give up sometimes. Sometimes you gotta give up just to restart this. But anyways, back to my story. So this guy was trying to argue with me about something that was had nothing to do with me. But he was like saying, you want to hear something illogical? He was like, eating or eating meat's illogical. It's like killing animals and eating meat is illogical. And that was it. I was just done with the conversation. I just stopped. I was like, yeah, okay. And I walked away. I mean, it's... It was kind of weird. I really didn't know how to, what to say about that. But, you know... To each their own, man. I don't think I can ever stop eating a tasty, delicious burger. That's just... That is just a punishment. Like, straight up. You know, if you love meat and you stop eating meat... That's in itself just a punishment. But, you know, not all meat's good, so. And especially not all meat is good in high quantities. So you want to make sure you're eating it in just very fair quantities. Oh, uh, no, not again, not again. There we go. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Those sneaky little dudes, they hide things, dude. You don't even know where it's going to be, but they're just like, Oh, hello, have this uh, invincible block that you cannot see. And expect yourself to have it redo this. Wow, nothing in these. Really? I was expecting a delicious happy meal. That's what I'm gonna call. It. I'm gonna call items and item blocks happy meals. Because it's a meal that when you see it, you're happy. Straight up. Can I get a shell? Like straight up. Can I get a shell? Oh yes, I got a shell, baby! Which I can't even grab. Because if I if I were to grab it, I would have went back and got the cannon, but oh well. I guess that's not gonna work. I'll probably make, like, what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna make videos showing off literally everything at the end of this. Oh, dude, come on, dude. Luigi, you are a, fl you are just a floaty little dude. Like, you are just so frugal. Look at that. He just wants to jump and have a good time. He can't even slow down by any. Brother, you almost got bit by that shark. Man, relax. Oh my gosh, Luigi. Seriously. Hey, at least this is good, because I needed to be a baby to get through there. Or I could have went around like a normal person, but that would have, you know... Oh, no, no, no. That would have been a little too risky. And we all know Luigi here. He's not one of those kinds of people that enjoys taking risks. 
you would rather have everything done, you know, in the very nice and safe way, which is good, it's fine. You see Luigi on the highway and he's driving slow, it's because he likes to drive the speed limit. He doesn't like going over. He'll maybe go a little bit under if he's not really feeling it that day, but for the most part, he's a really good guy. He makes Mario breakfast and uh, he takes care of his brother. He cleans his sheets and he puts up with his uh, smelly smell after Mario visits the bathroom because we all know Mario, dude. He loves grubbing. Grubbing on these toad heads. Oh, there we go. That's what I call a happy meal. A meal that feeds me and makes me happy. Oh, and we also got these mushrooms. I, I guess I guess these are also made of toads as well, right? Unless these are how toads started, man. I actually don't know. Like, what makes a mushroom evolve from being a mushroom to a mushroom that can talk? Like, that is just something you'd see in a horror movie. If they made a horror movie about Toad, that would actually be pretty awesome. Because it would literally be a horror movie. Alright, can I get in there? Yes, we got into the pipe. I wonder, is, is that actually gonna... Is that gonna take me to the last star coin? I don't know, let's find out, guys. Let's find out together, shall we? Where is it? Where are you? I don't see you, star coin. Oh, there you are! I've missed you! I wanted you so bad, and you finally came up to me and showed yourself. Thank you. Alright, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh! There we go, that wasn't that bad. I made it more dramatic than it actually was. This game's pretty easy. Even though I died like five times, it's still pretty easy. It comes with the territory. Silly deaths is all I gotta say. Alright, come here, 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 come here. Okay. It's okay. I don't want- I didn't want you anyways. I did not want anything to do with you, red coin. I'm fine collecting these gold ones. They'd probably be worth more to pirates than the red ones. I should probably- I mean, I wouldn't know that. I played Mario Party 8. I mean, that dude, the Goomba, the booty- the, what is it called? It was like the booty walk boardway or something. That Goomba loved hoarding that gold. He would rather give you stars than give you a coin. He would trade coins or stars for coins. That is how much he loved gold. So I could probably make a big profit off of that and make my own Super Mario 64 game, like straight up. But yeah, welcome guys to World 1 Dash Castle. How awesome is this? We made it to the castle already? Yeah, this game is very short. I mean, the levels do, the worlds do start picking up in terms of length. But it's not really that much, so I think starting from the next episode and like moving on and forth, it's going to be like a little bit longer than whatever this episode's length is. This will probably be like, I don't know, like 25 minutes. And keep in mind, that's with like the few deaths that I had, so... That's pretty good, I mean, that's not bad by any means. Ah! Oh, brother! I wanted to do something cool, but like seriously, this game didn't want me to do it. I was gonna go down, and I was gonna run, and I was gonna slide, and it was gonna look sick. But guess what? This game decided that it didn't want me to do that. It was like, nope, I feel like that's a little too showing off, which is fine. I get it, they're trying to humble me a little bit. It's good, it's fine, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll humble myself. It's fine. Also, don't get too cocky. You can't get that. You gotta wait for a little platform to show. Oh, there we go. Also, you know what's crazy? That they hide this pipe very well. Remember the first time I played this, I was like, where could this star coin be? Why would they hide it like that? Why would they put a pipe that you can't even see? But they want to make you jump on these ropes. I mean, it's not like being on this rope is bad enough. They want you to... They want the people that have, like, I guess, height anxiety to, to literally lose their minds. Because if this were real, dude, I, it would be over for me. But I guess, what do we got here? Do we have my boy Bowser? Is it Bowser? I think it's Bowser, guys. Hey, it's Bowser Jr. What's up, Bowser Jr.? Where is he? Who's like, oh, it is! It's my boy Bowser! What's up, Bowser? What's up, dog? I missed you. Woohoo! Oops. Bowser! What's up, man? I'm sorry. You know, that's very mean of me to do. Push buttons that don't belong to me, but come on. We all know the motto. When you see a red button, push it. It's just... It's just how it goes, dude. 
If Dexter's Laboratory and anything on Cartoon Network have ever taught me anything, it's to push the red buttons always. So, that's exactly what we did. Anyways, we completed World 1 in this game. We're moving on to World 2, which is the Sand World. It's very nice. I guess it's it's worthy of saving now. We can save. It's all good. Let's go back to World 1. I'll show you guys what we got. So, we completed... Oh, I guess it says that star coins are all completed. So, that's good. So, this is the level, I guess, the thing that I wanted to get the, um, the thingy thing at. But, you know... Unfortunately, I couldn't. This is the cannon. Like I said, you get the secret exit. You go to the cannon. The cannon takes you to World 5. Screw that cannon. I wasn't even going to check it out anyways, even if I unlocked the path. This is all good and dandy. We got a toad house over here, which I'm not going to unlock. And that's it. So, I mean, that was a pretty fun world, I guess, to play through. So, in the next episode, my friends, we're going to play through World 2. And just so you guys are all aware, we're going to do this every single day. It's going to be eight videos, so eight days. Pretty quick. And then we're going to move on to New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is going to be the same thing. Eight or nine videos, because I think that has nine worlds. And then moving on to New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. And then we're going to do the same thing on that. Nine worlds, so nine videos back to back to back. So this is kind of like a nice summer New Super Mario Bros. marathon where we play through all of the New Super Mario Bros. games here on the channel and have fun with them and explore them again and see how badly I suck. And then at least how, how, how much I'll improve in terms of New Super Mario Bros. games at the end of the series. Because, I mean, if you're playing this every day, you're bound to improve a little bit. But anyways, thank you for watching once again, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out.